Hey, how's it going everybody? This is my dive for this week. I went out and I swam out a little deeper for my first drop. So here's my first drop. Again, it's my warm-up drop, trying to relax, trying to get my downtime up. And I made it to the bottom and resting right between these two boulders. If you've been watching my videos, that's kind of like where I like to be in between two boulders. So there's some King Kole there in the yellow tank pile. And I'm just chilling, just relaxing. Don't really care to take a shot, but this guy swims kind of close. So I think, oh, maybe I can get one on my first, first dive. And the fish keep coming closer and closer. And I think that has a lot to do with my um, bands off practice. So I'm just looking at these four. Try not to hit anything. I think I'm going to shoot. I want to make sure I don't hit fish unnecessarily. Waiting for a clear shot. That guy moves off. Take the shot, got it. The spear went right through it because I was pretty close and I have my first fish of the day. And that was a pretty uh, long bottom time for my normal first drop. Usually I don't stay down that long and usually I don't even take a shot on my first drop. But I was lucky enough to get this uh, King Kole. As you know, that's kind of one of my standards to put food on the table. So I swam out. The pressure's kind of off. So this is my second drop of the day. A little slower time getting down to the bottom. But I just wanted to see this school of um, veke. You can see them there. They're not spooked at all by my presence. Way too small to shoot. I had no intention of shooting it. Oh, there's a little top in the corner. And it was just pretty much to take a look at that pile. No shots. This is my third drop of the day. I swam out and I'm looking at this open area that you can see right there. This drop was pretty much blind. I just liked the area. So some sand there. So I make it down to the sand and position myself right behind this rock. Get my handhold and my guns over the rock looking out. So you can see a munu there in the distance swimming around the rock. Some nenui come in. And the fish got spooked there. I don't know why. It wasn't me. So I just pretty much bailed on this guy. No shots again. So I'm leaving this section of the video uncut. So I wanted to show you um, how I went from one dive to another. So I'm trying to breathe up and relax and scanning for an area to make my next drop. So I see the sand patch in the upper right. So I start swimming toward it. And as, I, and as I'm swimming toward it, I'm slowly trying to breathe up and I'm looking for my uh, drop zone. So I'm planning to drop right behind those two boulders and shoot through the crack. 
Now, normally I try to breathe up longer than this, but you know, I got to the zone, I felt pretty good, so I felt I'm okay for a one minute drop. So I take my last few breaths and head to the bottom. I'm trying to make sure I hit my drop zone and I made it down exactly where I wanted. Right there between the cracks. So I look out into the open area, scanning around for targets. Oh, uh, there's some Vecchia again. There's sure a lot of uh, Vecchia today. And I don't see much of anything. So I'm just chilling. With my left hand, I'm scratching the rock. So you'll see some uh, sediment coming up. And then the fish start coming in. So I see a pualu in the right. And I spooked it when my fin hit the rock. I was pretty pissed. So since I didn't breathe up a lot, I can start feeling the contractions coming on. So I just relax. And I got a shot off. And I hit the Pualu, it wasn't a great shot, it was a little low, but it held. And I wanted to make sure it didn't rip off. So I bring it up, and I have a Pualu for the stringer. I was pretty happy with the downtime. And that I was able to get the fish, even after I spooked it by hitting my fin on the rock. So I have my two fish for the day. I'm pretty much going to call it quits. Probably make one practice dive and head in. It's kind of a longer time in the water than I normally like to be in. So I have two fish on the Kui and I'm pretty much done. It's time for my bands off dive practice one. I was a little bit tired because I was out in the water a little bit longer than I um, normally like to be. So I wanted to drop down on this yellow tang pile and see if there's anything interesting in it. So I'm just relaxing on the rocks, trying to see if I can get the fish to come in. So if I was hunting, uh, there would have been a number of targets here. Um, you can see the Ninui in the center, King Kole is in the distance, Nai Nai is in the distance, there's a Umo Malay there, some little Kole is on the bottom, the Ninui swimming again, and that was it. It was a really good dive. I got two fish for dinner, and aloha.